Well, this doesn't happen very often during football season. Tennessee Titan Jason McCourty, his twin brother Devin McCourty of the New England Patriots, and their mom Phyllis all ended up in Nashville at the same time. They invited us to be part of the fun. In action. When you have two sons in the NFL, game day is all about tradition. Jason McCourty's home looked like a movie set, with crews filming a video for Walmart and Procter & Gamble. The guys were decked out in their respective Titans and Patriots gear, but for Mama McCourty, it takes a special shirt when both sons are NFL stars on different teams. Notice your jersey you're wearing. Uh, how do you divide your loyalties between the two teams? It's easy. They both play defense. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it makes it a lot easier. Um, they're going to be playing each other this year, and they did once before. I just cheer for the defense. Ever since they were kids, Mama McCourty has been Jason and Devin's biggest cheerleaders, videotaping all their Pop Warner football games from the sidelines. We were just reminiscing a little bit uh, back in our Pop Warner days, and a game day tradition me and Dev used to always do was once the game was over, we'd go back home, and my mom used to record all of our Pop Warner games. So the first thing we wanted to do when we got home was turn it on, put the game in a VCR, and rewatch ourselves, because usually we'd uh, be able to score a touchdown or two. So you, you want to see how good you looked on film when you're that young. So we turn the film on, we'd be watching, excited, and it'd get to your play where you might have scored a touchdown or made a really good play. And my mom, of course, didn't use used the tripod at the time so whenever one of us broke out and we're running about to score a touchdown the camera was either in the blue sky or on the green grass but it was it was never directed towards the field so uh, to this day we can still laugh about that and reminisce of the, the old uh, old footage and she really wasn't much of a great behind the camera type person but I bet you could hear her cheering though you definitely could that's that's the one thing that was definite on it so you could hear how loud she was We actually used to do our own little handshake uh, from high school to college, but now playing on separate teams, obviously we don't do that. But uh, before every game uh, during the national anthem, uh, my, our father passed away when we were three. So I always have a conversation with my father before the game, just uh, telling him to look after me, telling him actually when we play at the same time to look after Dev and all of that. So uh, that's always been a tradition of mine, just to be able to kind of, it kind of relaxes me and quiets down everything around me just to kind of have a quick conversation with him and get ready for the game. So for me, I write 32 on my left cleat and 30 on my right cleat. And for every game, to me, it's just a way, you know, similar to him, right after we do the national anthem, I hit my chest twice, touch the back of my cleats, and then blow a kiss to our father before the game. Just to me, it's a way. When we first started playing sports, it was kind of a way, you know, everyone used to tell us how much our father loved basketball and playing sports. So we always felt sports was like our connection. So uh, growing up, we always did it together. We were on the field together. So to me, that's a kind of a way to keep it still us three out there playing. What's up? I got to play football for your brother. Jason and Devin are living their dreams playing in the NFL, and they watch each other's games every week hoping for the best. I'm nervous, actually, because I don't want to see them do bad. I want to see them make plays. So when we go against each other, it's kind of a little bit of the same thing where I'm hoping we score touchdowns, but I'm just hoping it's not on him. So right. uh, it is a weird feeling, but I, I would say the unique feeling was when we played in 2012, we were both captains. So we met at midfield, good luck, stay healthy. And uh, to me, that was probably the, the best picture of a dream come true with us both being captains of our team at midfield for the coin toss. I thought that like captured the true moment of our whole football journey. How special of a day was that for you, Mom? Very, very special. It, it had been since uh, college that they actually, they didn't, weren't playing together, but they were on the field at the same time. So it was, it was perfect. It was perfect. I just wish both of them could have won. That's a mama talking right there. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but again, we talked about this on Friday. Love the fact that she's got that uh, jersey there representing both teams. Yeah, custom made. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, maybe she should sell those. I don't know. Yeah, uh -huh. I know. I, we're hoping for Jason to get back on the field. Of course, he's uh, he's still injured, rehabbing exactly. an injury. But I uh, hope to see him back on uh, playing for the Titans again soon. You can see that video featuring the McCourty family online at traditionsforgameday.com. They're also encouraging you to share your game day traditions on social media with the hashtag game day traditions. They've got a lot of them themselves. All right, fantastic. Well,